Resilience Warriors, what it do, what it do. Coach Angela here from Mental Health Restoration, LLC. Today, I'm sharing four essential caregiving strategies that form the foundation and framework to effective caregiving, in my book at least. Each strategy is crafted to ensure that we're not only addressing the present needs of our loved ones, but also anticipating future changes. Strategy one focuses on regular assessments rooted in self-awareness. As you know, that is the foundation of our mental health in my air method. This means constantly observing and evaluating the physical, emotional, and mental states of both our care recipients and ourselves as caregivers. For example, Tracking daily mood fluctuations and physical responses can alert us to needs for adjustments in care or even in medical attention. It's about staying proactive rather than reactive, ensuring our caregiving strategies are always aligned with current needs. Strategy two involves enhancing cognitive and emotional intelligence and support. This goes beyond basic care. It's about enriching the mind and spirit of those we care for. We can engage in activities like strategic memory games, which enhance cognitive flexibility and use emotional storytelling to deepen empathy and understanding. These activities are designed to not just maintain, but actively improve the mental and emotional health of our loved ones, ensuring they remain connected and engaged in life. And this is for whether you have a child with special needs or you are caring for a loved one. It's, it just doesn't, it's all around a good, good strategy. Strategy number three, our communication techniques are the doorways and windows of our mental house. Effective communication is crucial, adapting to the evolving abilities of those we care for. This strategy might involve assistive communication technologies or developing nonverbal communication skills to maintain clear and open channels. It's all about ensuring that no matter the circumstance, our loved ones can express their needs and desires and feel understood and valued. And this is one thing that I've, I've learned this strategy from years of being Nation's mom. And if you don't know, he is my 21-year-old soon to be 22, who has cerebral palsy. And this effective communication has been something that I have been learning about and building on because he has tight jaws. And at first it was hard to understand him, but through me actually just letting him communicate how he could and teaching him sign language at first until he could speak. He didn't speak till he was six. This came in. So it was just so handy to have this strategy. The last strategy, number four, is our flexible caregiving approach. Like an adaptable house that changes with seasons, our caregiving needs and methods must flex they got to flex, fluctuate and be flexible with the needs of those we support. Flexibility might mean adjusting daily routines, changing physical home setups to better suit mobility needs, or even altering our emotional approach during times of stress and change. It's all about being as responsive and dynamic as the lives we are supporting. That means it's all about the person that you're caring for versus yourself as in that aspect but you want to communicate and you want to just come at it with flexible you got to be able to move and adjust to how they need you to integrating these four strategies forms a comprehensive caregiving approach that is both reactive and proactive it's about building a caregiving environment that supports enhances and adapts ensuring that both caregivers and care recipients can thrive. All right, let's review. Number one, regular assessments. Strategy number two, cognitive and emotional intelligence and support. Number three, communication techniques. And number four, flexible caregiving approach. 
Thank you for spending time with me today as we navigate the intricate yet rewarding world of caregiving. Remember, each strategy is a tool to help us build a more resilient and supportive caregiving environment. Share your experiences or questions in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share if you like, and click the notification bell for more. We're in this together, building stronger foundations every day. Take care and see you in the next video.